Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to An Englishman in the Balkans. At 40 degrees Celsius outside. Some things to talk about today. Alcohol, illness, um, fruit seasons, and Lichnakarta. Why Lichnakarta? Tell you in a minute. Okay. I don't know. I have not been prepared first, for this First of all, um, we're going to do one of these uh, every week, maybe two a week. We'll see how it goes. Um, and we're going to put this on the Facebook page. Thank you for everybody that's liking it. We've got lots of likes now. Yes. Maybe uh, we should start doing Facebook Live. We are going to start doing some Facebook Lives. Uh, but we'll have to do them on Sundays because Sundays is the only time that people around the world are together. Okay. To see it live. Um, yeah. So hmm, you threw me off. Yeah. Okay. I on Facebook. That. And this will also be on YouTube. And hopefully, unless the camera jumps out of its uh, mount at the moment, we're on Instagram TV. So we're everywhere. First things, people alcohol everywhere. and the heat. It's been very hot. Yes. It is at the moment outside 40 degrees. No, it's 32, it says on AccuWeather. Yeah, but I know Accu it's 40. Weather. It's, it's okay. absolutely roasty toasty out there. Um, and I've got a clip that's going in now. We've done our laundry, all our white laundry. Yes. Because my dear old mother used to say, all biological stains are removed and bugs are killed if you put it out in oh, bright sunlight because yes. of the ultraviolet. Yes. Is that true? That is true. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Yeah. Bugs. Why have we got bugs, bugs in the pasta? I don't know. We got to because I was sick and I, I bought some pasta. I, no, I you, you, have, we've got tons of, we had tons of pasta. We like five or six buckets, packages of pasta. And uh, because I like eating pasta and I was sick and I couldn't eat anything for four months. So I didn't eat pasta and we got those little Zizek. What are they called? Zizeks? Zizek, yeah. It's a little bug that lives, that eats off the grains. Where does it come from? Is it a Bosnian bug? I have no idea, but, but pr probably, uh, the, the, I don't know how it came because we used to never have these. And maybe because we lived in, in the village or maybe already there have been eggs in the pasta that I bought, which you have to be very aware. I usually buy good quality pasta. Like she normally buys, Italian, she normally buys pasta that's on sale, be honest. Yes, but it's still Italian. It's a good pasta. Yeah, maybe it's old Italian. Maybe. So maybe it, ha it had eggs inside and then, I don't know, maybe it's in the rice that I bought. Yeah, it's, it could be. Oh, you know what? I know what. I, I'm never buying it again. It's the rice cake I used to buy. Rice are plus cakes. Rice cakes. You said this morning so and I don't believe you. So it be full you. of the Zizek eggs and I'm not buying it. It's but so rice disgusting. cakes don't come from Asia. They're made in Europe, I think. Yeah, but still you get these bugs. Yeah, but it's so hot outside. Um, we've done the, um, the the laundry today because we just got to take advantage of the I heat. But I, oh, thank you. That's so nice. Um, but I went for a walk in the garden, and guess what I found? Have you been checking my Instagram feed? No. Because if you checked my Instagram feed, you would have seen something. I'm busy doing things. I'm sorry. You would have seen something. What is that? So, like, I went outside to take some shots of the garden in this heat because we have this really strange phenomena of the leaves falling off the trees like they do in autumn but in midsummer because we had that warm snap and then that cold snap and warm snap and the cold snap yes. actually, actually the whole may this year was really bad very cold and lots of rain and all the blooms all the blossoms were killed by the frost apart from one apart from one which yeah. one after we finish making this video, uh, I think you should go out, put a hat on and just go out for two minutes or check my Instagram feed. Okay. I found the one plum from this year. Oh yeah, it's up there in the corner, isn't it? No, it's over there. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. Okay, that one survived then. Oh, I that's going to make lots of rakia. Yeah, we're going to make lots of rakia out of that. So yeah, talking about alcohol, um, you don't drink anymore. Well, you're not drinking much at the moment. No, I can drink. So what happened with the gall... Well, well, it, it, everybody says about Tam and her gallbladder. So you had the gallbladder out and then you had problems afterwards, yes, yeah? I don't have what a... do they call it when they put that tube down your throat? It's gastroscopy. Was it nice? I don't know. I don't remember. I was sleeping. Uh, and dreaming of cats. Uh, yes. Apparently, gastroscopy is an awful experience. And uh, before, before, they wouldn't put people to sleep to do it. So you have to do it alive. Awake. And, awake and I, I'm awake, I'm awake, yeah, awake. <laughs> and uh, 
you know, they put this this thing through your through your throat and they examine your stomach and everything and then you you are awake and it's awful. So I specifically asked to put me to sleep while they're doing it. The examination is only 10 minutes because I've been having after surgery these attacks and uh, I was not getting any better. I couldn't eat anything. If I eat something, then I have these attacks and this lasted like... I have been in agony f since the 2nd of May. I remember the date, the exact date when I went to the ER. And but you're all right now. About this. So what happens is uh, uh, I, I have these attacks and then I'm like, you know, this could not be, you know, f my gallbladder is removed. Everything should be fine. Although I had this little stone in, in, a, in a, a bile duct. And that's apparently gone. They couldn't see an ultrasound. So the doctor says that I should go to a gastroscopy check if I have an ulcer on the somewhere in my stomach or in the intestines. So I went and checked that and I don't have an ulcer. Everything is fine. I do have a small inflammation of the stomach lining. And cheers. <laughs> and, uh, and about two centimeters, the stomach lining is up into mine. How do you call this part? Esophagus. Esophagus, yes. Like at two centimeters, it's up. So it's been ripped and up. So that's what was apparently causing me problems. But you're feeling all right now? I've been taking a medications that doctor gave me for four months. They didn't help me at all because I've been having these attacks. I lost 10 kilograms without even trying to lose any weight because I basically was starving myself. And uh, I'm kind of okay now. I've been okay for six days maybe six, seven days now, because we went to monastery, and David has a video about it. You went to the convent. Uh, to convent. Monastery and... is for men, darling. Oh, okay, sorry. To convent, and the ladies there, they make all sorts of teas that help people. It's like a natural uh, apotheker or pharmacy. Homeopathic? Homeopathic, yeah. yes. And uh, I heard stories from so many people who had the same problems, including my aunt. And she went there and she drank the tea and she has no problems since then. It's been 10 years. So I went there and I got the tea. The tea tastes disgustingly bitter and it's awful. And I drink it uh, three times a day. I have t uh, 100 milliliters 15 minutes before the meal and 100 milliliters after the meal. And I have that three times. It's 600 milliliters of tea I make every morning. And it really helps. I didn't have any attacks, but uh, I'm still watching what I'm eating. I'm not eating anything crazy and um, yeah, I've been okay for six days. You're not days. drinking either? No, today I'm having a little bit of wine with lots of ice, white wine, but I don't usually, I don't do any drinking. This, this I'm is... afraid it might, it might come back. The attacks, yeah, yeah, the pain, the pain is awful, excruciating and terrible. This is not... But David is drinking for me and him, Bevanda. <laughs> Bevanda. Bevanda. What is, so this is Bevanda. What is Bevanda? Bevanda is called, uh, you drink uh, red wine and you dilute it with water. So this is diluted wine. I like it actually because normally red wine will give me headaches, but since I've been diluting it with water, um, yeah. It's That's bit... how they drink it in Dalmatia. They Ooh. dilute it and they drink a sip it all day. They eat a grill with fish with it. and fish. And, yeah. So a bit of a Dalmatian weekend here yes. in the village. Right. I, I'm not sure if the French people eat Bevanda as well. Maybe you can leave down in the comments if you're French. Do you dilute your wine with the water when you drink? Like a homemade wine. I know you have expensive wine. French mm. are very particular about their the wines. wines. I know that. But just let me know if you are French and watching this video. Do you dilute your, dilute your Bevanda with water? Well, we're talking about drinks as well. Last night we went to La Pont. Well, yes. You were talking French, so La Pont, which means Pont. the bridge. The bridge. Why didn't they call it the most? The most. I have no idea. Because most, by the way, is the word of the day, which is Serbo Croatian for bridge. Bridge. Most. M O S T. Not most. the most, you know, the host with the most. It's <laughs> most. Most. Bridge. Most. Is the bridge. Anyway, we went there to La Pont, which is, used to be Jupa. It used to be Jupa, the coffee bar there. By the Since banana bridge. 1800 and something, it's, it has a long tradition. But I think the guy sold it or whoever owns it has been sold to another person. And now they made this Gucci little bar with live well, music and weekends. And Well, last night I had a gin with rose lemonade. Yes, because uh, David followed them on Instagram and he saw me. Oh my God, look at this drink. And I said, well, let's go. You should try it. So I was being a bit of a Nancy last night. Um, 
Have you ever heard yes. that phrase before? I had an ice cream. Have you heard that phrase which before? Which gave me artist. Mm. Being a bit of a Nancy. No. Bit of a Nancy boy. What is a, what is a Nancy boy? <laughs> okay. If you know what I mean, Jelly Bean. So I was a bit of an auntie last night, but I was drinking... You mean this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I was drinking ro rose lemonade with um, a really, really nice gin. Crafter's gin. Crafter's Crafter gin. gin with the rose lemonade. So thank you very much for La Pont. We will be back. And if you want to sponsor us and give us free drinks, we wouldn't say no. Um, <laughs> but of course... I've just been shopping <laughs> to get the replacement... Um, for all the Zizek pasta. All the Zizek pasta. Uh, and when I was there, I was quite surprised because there was a lady two in front of me in the queue. She's obviously not a teenager, and I'll say no more than that. She's obviously not a teenager. And I thought, why has she placed um, in front of the cashier her lich nakata? Another phrase, lich nakata means... Personal ID. ID card. Yeah. And I thought, why has she done that? Has she been buying any alcohol? No, she was buying... Smooth. Cigarettes. Oh, smooth. What? I mean, she obviously is over the legal age to, to, to smoke and to consume alcohol. Yes, but it's lots of people look, look young and by the law now in Boston. No, I, I can tell you, she, she's definitely Not over me. 18. People tell me I look like I'm 30 and I'm 45. Yeah, but you don't have to pro produce your identity card. <laughs> no, I don't because I look 30. Now. So I, I, just thought, I just thought, why oh why did she do that? I don't know, because uh, she cannot buy smokes. You have to be over 18. To well, she smokes. was obviously over 18. She's got grey hair and a number of wrinkles. Maybe according to you, David, and you don't see very well. Maybe she's, maybe she's the Balkan female version of Benjamin Button. <laughs> maybe. But the, the thing is, maybe the cashier probably asked them, so she, she wanted to prove her, her age. That's mm. why. I'm because just waiting. Some people here look much younger than they really are. Do you think I'd ever be asked for my ID? Yes. Do I look that young? <laughs> yes. Oh, I love you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be doing more of these videos. It, no, it's you're going to be asked time. for ID to join Granny's Club. <laughs> the Granny's Club, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to do more, more of these. Um, I wanted to do them outside, but it's, it is too hot um, at the moment. And yesterday I was doing so much work and in the heat, and I got this excruciating headache, and I was really, really feeling you, you, bad. You had really, it was really bad. Yes. And plus, my body is still exhausted from being in pain for four months. It's like awful. But I get, wouldn't wish this. But you're getting back to normal. I wouldn't wish this to anybody. Um, Honestly. Do you want to give the secret away? Where are we going on the 20, is it 24th or 25th of this month? We are going on 24th because you're going to sleep over to take a break from the Where are we going to stop? We're going to stop at Blagai. Blagai, yes. Yeah. And then we are going back to Qatar this year. To Montenegro. To Montenegro. And my brother um, is going to join us, so I'm going to be... He's bringing me a brand new camera, a portable water, water resistant one. Do you think you'll be doing any swimming? I think oh, so. Oh, sorry for burping. Yeah, that's what I do there. I Would like you take the camera with you? Yes. If you pay me 100 marks, I will do it. Or 50 euros, because we are in Montenegro. I could take you out for a nego steak. Može. Može. That's, that's done. That's done. Može means... Done. Može means... Može. <laughs> In English? How would, you, how, would you, how would you translate that? I don't know. Yes, da, maje, of course. Of course. Let's do it. Let's do it, yeah. Let's do okay. It. So that's it. Thanks for, for watching. Whether you've seen this on Facebook or on YouTube or on IGTV, if you'd like to comment, that'd be great. The blog, an Englishman in the Balkans.com, is now on a new platform. It's got a new design. It seems that you like it, so that's cool. There's going to be more videos. I've got it in my head now about what you really want to flies. see. Yeah, we're not going to talk about Bosnian flies. So no. please, wherever you are, the equivalent of liking, sharing and, and subscribing would be great. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the... Dingly, dingly, dangly, dangly, do the bell button. <laughs> hit the bell button so that you get notified every time that, that we post it. So that's it for this weekend. Um, and we'll catch you hopefully during the week. If you are in the United Kingdom at the moment, I do sympathise because you've got rain and horrible winds and everything like that. But we here... Maybe you should come and visit us to enjoy this yeah. real if you want to come and visit, roasting weather. If you want to come and visit uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina and you want some ideas, there's a, there link is a link down below. In the description. And we can help you with everything, yes. We can. 
Okay. Okay. See you later, alligator. Okay. Say say goodbye in Serbsko-Hrvatski. Do vidjenja. Zdravo. Arrivederci. See you later.